Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. So, I decided to try a strategy that I've not had a chance to try as Poland yet, and we'll go communist. There are a few benefits to doing that. So, first of all, we'll be able to switch to war economy, because that requires having either a fascist ruling party or a communist ruling party. Or being at war, but we won't be at war for the next few years. And that will give us a 20% construction speed bonus to military factories. It will also make it cheaper to convert civilian factories to military factories and vice versa, because you can do that. But there is a penalty. The second benefit is that we hopefully won't have to worry about the Soviet Union, because if there's one thing I definitely cannot do, it's fight both the Germans and the Soviet Union at the same time. We simply will not be able to do that. We can fight one or the other, but not both. So, these are the two main benefits. There's also the third benefit. We will be able to attack some of our neighbors before war actually starts, if we want to. Because when you're non-aligned, like we are right now, there's a 50% penalty. Which means war detention needs to be at at least 50%. Otherwise, you will not be able to justify war goal, as you can see right here. But once we go communist or fascist, we will be able to justify war goal and attack someone if we want to. It would be a good idea to attack Czechoslovakia if we can time it well. Because otherwise we'll have to fight them anyway once the war starts, which will extend our front line quite a lot. And it makes it harder to defend yourself against Germany. So hopefully we'll be able to prevent that, that's the plan. In any case, let's grab the communist advisor. So this guy. Now, going communist is quite a lot harder because the communist party starts with 2% popularity only, while the fascist party starts with 15%. So if you want to go that route, going fascist is easier. Or you can also go democratic, they start with 18%. That's also pretty easy. But we'll try going communist and we'll see how that goes. So other than that, we are not going to import any resources yet. We are still waiting for some civilian factories. Let's unpause, and we'll wait for some text. We got 30 days to finish construction. Now, there's a bit of a dice roll involved in going communist or fascist, because it can start happening after 30%. So, once their popularity goes up to 30% or more, it can happen. But, at the same time, it might also not happen until 50% plus, and we do not get elections. So even once we reach 50% popularity, it's not guaranteed to happen. It's much more likely to happen, but you have to wait for them to stage a coup. Otherwise, you will not switch governments as Poland, because there are no elections. Alright, so there's construction. What are we going to grab next? We are already researching concentrated industry. It's not 1937 yet, but we could get started on improved machine tools. Production efficiency is a super important stat. What are the other options? Oh yeah, we will have to get support weapons one. So let's maybe start working on that. Alright, and carry on. How's our focus? It will be done soon. And the next research done will be concentrated industry. Alright then. So I will likely continue to build civilian factories until the end of the year or so. We'll see how that goes. The next one will be done in December. So we will probably just switch in December. We'll see about that. Let's finish four-year plan. There we go. So that's done. And that gives us 50% research bonus for construction technology. And now we can grab National Defense Fund, which will give us a civilian factory. So carry on then. And with the one we're about to finish, or we... Yeah, with the one we'll finish in December, we'll have 22 civilian factories. Once we finish this one, we'll start to import some resources. We can also move this queue around a bit. The items that are higher will be higher in priority. So artillery should be slightly higher priority here. Like so. Alright, carry on then. Maximum speed. We only got 9 military factories right now, but we should be able to get at least 30 before the war. We're going to need a lot of military factories, that's for sure. 
And that's also one of the benefits of invading your neighbors. You can take some of their factories. It's actually a very good reason to do it. All right, concentrated industry is done. So now we could use the 50% bonus to construction and get plus 10% construction speed. It's still slightly ahead of time, but not a whole lot. Only 0 0.36. Let's go for that. 10% construction speed is good. These tags are very, very important. Pretty much all the tags on that tab are super important. Production efficiency is important, factory output is important, and construction speed as well. The only thing I'm going to ignore is the synthetic oil line. Because that's mostly a luxury. It's good for larger nations, but we'll have to do without that. We won't actually need it all that much, hopefully, so yeah. Also, once we build a few convoys, we'll probably switch over to submarines. We do have a few submarines, but I wouldn't mind more. I'm a little bit torn about whether to get the additional dockyards in Danzig or not. You can do it with the focus, but we have a lot of things to get here, and we have to prioritize. It's just one focus, but it's still 20 days. And submarines won't be that useful for us as Poland. We're not a naval superpower, that's for sure. Anyway, that's National Defense Fund. And next we need Warsaw Main Railway Station, because that's required for invest in the old Polish region. Then we'll get the other civilian factory and the additional research slot. And then we'll see. Let's finish that first, and we'll decide what's next once it's done. Alright, so... We can edit our division and add some artillery here, might as well do that. Like so, and save. And we can check our equipment progress real quick. As you can see, we are already working on some artillery. It's pretty slow right now because I don't have a lot of factories assigned, and our production efficiency is still low but it will increase over time. We'll need something like 10,000 artillery before war actually starts. All right, we have 150 points again. So next up, we could grab the guy that will give us 10% bonus to military factory construction speed, the war industrialist. We could also get army experience. We will be switching to military factories soon, so I think we should grab this guy. Yep, we'll grab that guy. And we'll get the army experience guy next. Yep, this guy. He also makes land doctrine research a little bit faster, so that's also good. Alright, carry on. Let's check construction. We can already queue up some military factories. We don't have to wait for this to finish. So there we go. That will give us 23 civilian factories, actually, because we'll get one more from our focus tree. That will have to be enough. We won't have enough time to build more. At least right now. We might be able to take over a few Sweden factories if we decide to invade some of our neighbors. It will all depend on how fast we go communist or how fast war tension will rise. Because it really depends. It can go up pretty quickly sometimes. I had one game where Japan declared war on the US very, very early, like super early, which made war tension go up much faster than it usually does. Anyway, we finished our research. We got two slots now, actually. So, I don't think we should be going for 1938 decks just yet. That's too early. I will switch my doctrine to superior firepower because there are a lot of nice bonuses here. Plus 20% soft attack from the first one. Plus 10 organization from the second one. Plus 20% defense next. Then we can go left. I should be able to get overwhelming fire before the war. It sucks losing that one doctrine that we already start with. And researching land doctrines takes a pretty long time, as you can see. 220 days, but we are doing it anyway, so we are switching over to superior firepower. It makes sense when I plan to focus on artillery, 
And that is what we will be doing. So, next up... We do have one more research bonus here, but that's two years ahead of time right now. There's no need to get radio right now. Hold on, what can we actually get that won't have a big penalty? I guess we can work on interwar artillery, because we'll need that for improved artillery too. Okay, that works. And we are almost done with our focus. And we're almost in 1937. So, how's our... Oh! It's already at 20%. Well then, that went much faster than I expected. I'm hoping we'll go communist by the end of 1937. That would be great, but we'll see about that. It's a bit of a dice roll, as I said. You need a little bit of luck. So, it's almost 1937. We could get started on improved machine tools. That production efficiency is just so important. We are about to finish Warsaw Main Railway Station, but that won't give us any research bonuses. Yep, let's get started on improved machine tools. And we are about to finish our focus, there it is. Pause. anti comintern Pact. We are going to refuse, which will give us a minus 50 opinion with the Germans. The other option is to join, which would give us a penalty with the Soviet Union. That wouldn't make any kind of sense when we plan to go communist. So refuse. And our next focus is going to be what? That's going to be invest in the old Polish region. So carry on. And how's the research going? Going okay. Let's check our equipment. And house production. We need to get started on the military factories fast. We are already working on them, actually, yep. Alright, good, good. How long will it take to finish the first one? 27th January. Okay, it will be pretty fast. That's nice. And that's Italy's war with Ethiopia done. They annexed Ethiopia. It actually takes them a while sometimes. I had one game, one test run, where they did it super late. I'm not quite sure why, but it happened. Marx its sympathies in government. Well, yes, obviously. 22%. It needs to be at at least 30%. That's when the coup can actually happen. It doesn't mean it well, but it can start happening at that point. I'm really curious to see how this will go. Also, the faster we switch, the faster we'll be able to justify war against some of our neighbors. Anyway, three military factories, we need to assign them, we'll assign them to artillery. We are going to need so much artillery. Also, I think it's time to import some resources, since we're working on military factories now. So, we are going to import all of that. We mostly need steel. We can import that from the United States, I suppose. Or from the United Kingdom. Whoever we are going to import it from will get additional civilian factories. So, it is actually kind of important who you're going to import stuff from. Tungsten from the United Kingdom. And we can also import some from the Soviet Union, because why not? We can import aluminum from the Soviet Union. Since we plan to be friendly with the Soviet Union, so it makes sense to import a few things from them. And that's that, so now we won't be getting penalties anymore. We just need our production efficiency to go up for artillery, which just takes time. As you can see, it's ticking up very, very slowly. That's what happens when you start a new production line. It starts very low on production efficiency and goes up over time. We're about to finish that convoy, so let's switch to some submarines. It will take a while to actually build submarines with only one naval dockyard, but that's fine. We'll still get around one a year. There's our focus done. So that gives us one military factory. And then we can get one more Syrian factory like this. And then we'll get a research slot. 
So just assign that military factory, we can assign it to military equipment. Or infantry equipment, I mean. We still need like 11,000 of that. We will be building weapons too, before the war actually starts. But we do need more infantry equipment for sure. We also need quite a lot of support equipment, actually. Yeah, let's work on that instead. We are only producing 1.06 per day. That's not a lot. Alright, carry on then. And pause. And we got 16 army experience. We are still training our army. We've been doing that constantly. Because we need the army experience. We can get 20 army experience from Focus 3. And we will likely do that at some point. But there's no huge rush. And we got 150 political power. So now we can get the army experience guy. This guy. It will also help our land doctrine research. So there we go. I'm not sure who's going to be next. We'll decide once we get there. We could save up for war economy. And another thing we can do once we go communist is switch to extensive conscription. But we'll see. We need to actually go communist first before we consider that. So, it's too early to go for improved artillery too, because that's two years ahead of time at the moment. But it's 1937. What can we get? We are already working on land doctrine, so we can't do that. We could start working on improved infantry equipment. I want to get weapons too as soon as possible to start working on that. We'll need to manufacture like 20,000 weapons too, so it will take a while. I think we should get started on improved infantry equipment one. So let's do that. All right then. So far, so good. And assign some factories to artillery. And queue up more military factories. We'll just queue up a bunch. Because that's what we want to focus on now. There we go. Carry on. 5.57 artillery per day. We'll need much more than that. And research is done. Nice. Improved machine tools. Alright, and now we could go for concentrated industry. And I suppose we should. For that plus 20% factory output. And focus is done. Nice. That's the civilian factory. And now we can get the additional research slot. We could actually skip the research slot, but it is useful. It's not 100% crucial. And there's the Hindenburg disaster. It doesn't actually always happen, by the way. Sometimes there's no disaster. As in, there's news that there was no disaster. Not that Italy affects the gameplay. It's mostly flavor. So, how's our party popularity? Almost 30%, so fingers crossed. I'm not really counting on it happening at 30%, but hopefully it will happen by the end of this year. That's what I'm counting on. Okay, Treaty of Madrid. Oh yeah, the war was still going on. Nationalist Spain won. They usually win, but not always. At least, they usually win from my experience so far. So, how's it going? 60 days to finish superior firepower. And one more thing we can do is increase priority of new division training. So, we'll do that. We can also check logistics. Yeah, we need to produce more of everything. But that's why we need military factories. It will happen with time. The exercises are also consuming some infantry equipment. Oh, hi, Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. Sometimes she crashes.
All right, come on, people, hurry up. It's 30 days. And how's focus? It's almost done, actually. So that gives us the additional research slot. And now we should focus on something else. We can't get one more military factory. We can get two more military factories. I think I'll grab one more and then we'll go for something else. Because it will take 140 days to get this one. Since we need both these. So we'll grab this one first. And then I might go left through here. I definitely want defensive focus because that's plus 20% construction speed to military factories. That's really, really good. In fact, it's usually a good idea to get that earlier. Marco Polo bridge incident. Interesting times indeed. Oh, also, we need to assign some research and military factories to artillery. We'll need so much artillery. And what do we want to research here? Not 1939 text just yet, that's too early. I don't think I'm going to waste time for resource gain efficiency. We don't have enough resources to make that worth our time. We could grab the research bonus, but it's still 0.43 years ahead of time. We could also get started on support weapons too. I think we'll do that actually. Yep, let's do that. Sounds good to me. Superior firepower is almost done, and we need to import more steel. We can import that from the Soviet Union, why not? So if I go into production now, or into construction, and hover over my factories, we'll see that five factories are going to imports. So we're paying for imported resources with five civilian factories. How's our progress anyway? October for the next one, all right. So there's superior firepower. That's plus 20% soft attack for all frontline battalions. That's pretty good. And next up is plus 10 organization, which is also pretty damn good. All right, carry on. We'll be working on land doctrines pretty much constantly. One research slot will be always dedicated to that. All right, so far so good. How's our government? 32%. Well, hopefully it will happen. I could save up my political power now. Because as soon as we go communist, I can switch to war economy, which will give us 20% bonus to military factory construction speed. I think I'll save up. There's nothing we can get right now that would give us a big boost. There are a few things we can get before the war. Like, for example, this guy. But we don't need him right now. We'll need him in two years. Also one of these guys, but same story there. We don't need them right now. Let's save up for the switch. It comes down to luck at this point. We might flip by the end of this year, we might flip next year, or we might have to wait until 1939. I hope not. Okay, so, and yep, Japan declared war. So, that's the military factory done. And now, I think we'll work on something else. So, we want defensive focus, because that's 20% bonus to military factory construction speed. But first, we have to get the required focus for that. And Japan declared war on China. All right, then. One more here. And we're saving up political power. 33% now. Well, I hope it will happen. Hopefully we won't have to go left to actually make it happen. Because that will take a while. I hope it won't be required. But I'll do it if I have to. I mean, we'll do it eventually anyway, because we can get plus 10% division recovery rate, which isn't too bad. 
All right, another military factory, just assign it to artillery. Actually, hold on, we'll need to import more resources like that. We can assign it to infantry equipment then. We got 1,000 out of 3.3k artillery. But we'll need much, much more than that because I have to modify my divisions. So, as a general rule, we want to fill this completely. I could also replace Recon Company with support artillery, but Recon Company isn't terrible. And I'd rather spend my points just to fill this out completely. So, infantry battalions. Now, we could add an armored battalion, but that costs a little bit too much. And I don't plan researching tanks, because we can't research everything all at the same time. Right, so... Infantry, infantry... And more infantry. Artillery. We got... Oh yeah, we have quite a lot of points. We got 25 more that we can use. Infantry... 35... And then we'll need 5 more artillery. Okay, this works. For now. Save. There we go! And we finished concentrated industry, nice. So, I think it's too early for advanced machine tools. And it probably is. What else can we get? I don't think I'm going to research any support battalions, because I don't plan to actually use them. We'll use the Recon Company. If anything, I might go for Recon Company too, but not yet. That's a 1939 tag. It's too early for that. We could get started on improved artillery. That's 238 days. It's not a terrible idea. I think we'll actually do that. Or we could grab the research bonus. Yeah, let's grab the research bonus. It's actually more important than it seems. So, come on, switch to communist. Go, go, go. 35% almost. I have a feeling we'll have to wait longer than this. It will probably happen sometime next year. Like mid-1938, if I had to guess. We'll see. As soon as we switch, I will likely start to justify war goals. Well, I can also start to justify war goals if war tension goes up to 50%. It's already at 39. Alright, strengthen the Polish state is done. Now we can grab defensive focus, which will give us a 20% bonus to military factory construction speed. Also to fort construction speed, but I want to be building any forts for a while. We can actually get some forts through decisions. Okay, more research. We should probably get started on weapons too. It will take a while, but we need that tech as soon as possible. So I think we should get started on that. There is a bonus we can get, but I'd rather get defensive focus. Okay, let's get started on that. That's fine. It will take a year. That's perfectly okay. And it's almost 1939. Or 38, I mean. 36%. Well, we could just go left, and it will make it happen faster, but we need one more focus on the way. I think we'll just do that. I need to flip, that's the whole idea behind this strat right now. And I want to take over at least one neighbor before war actually starts. I'd like to attack Czechoslovakia, the thing is that it might take us a while to actually win that war, and I can't afford to be at war when the actual war starts in 1939, for obvious reasons. Oh, nice! Change of popularity of communists, 15%. We'll also get minus 0.20 recruitable population, but whatever. This will actually help a lot 
hopefully will flip very very soon. It's at 52% now. The call should happen any moment. And the research is done, nice. Alright, we won't be getting super weapons free right now. What can we get? We could get started on advanced machine tools. That's one year ahead of time. These are so important. Yeah, I think we'll just get started on that. We need these techs. Come on, I got all the political power saved up, go, go. I mean, we could hire one guy. Let's see, we could get minus 10% industrial research time. So that's one thing we can do. We could get small arms research time, which is not a terrible idea. Or artillery research time. Interesting idea. Well... Small arms research time seems like a good plan. Or... We could just get the infantry division attack and defense dude. We don't need him just yet, but we'll need him before the war actually starts. Or we could save up. We will need manpower, because right now we have a bit of a manpower problem, as you can see. So... I could just switch to limited conscription right now. And then we can switch to extensive conscription once we go communist. Yeah, let's switch to limited conscription. Okay, hold on. I think it's happening. So let's pause for a moment. Cancel. Okay, Polish Socialist Party becomes the ruling party. Nice. So it happened. I have to pick both these events, unfortunately. Okay. Well, they will become the ruling party no matter what. So, yep, I also have to pick one of these options. Which means we'll get minus 5% base national unity. That's fine. There we go. So, we are now communist, which means we can switch to extensive conscription and to war economy. So, war economy first. And we just need 10 more points to switch to extensive conscription. Assign military factories. So, more artillery. Actually, no. More infantry equipment. Or more support equipment. Are we still really low on support equipment? We kind of are, yeah. The Anschluss of Austria. Well, that was going to happen, obviously. Defensive focus is done. So now we'll build military factories much faster. And we don't actually have to go left right now, because we are already communist. So we can focus on other things. We could get that military factory from expand central industrial region. We could also get 50% bonus for land doctrine. Can we time our research? Yeah, we will finish land doctrine in 66 days. Then I can just wait 6 days and get the next one faster. That's not a terrible idea. We could also get Polish militarism, which is plus 20 army experience. And it will give us more recruitable population. That's a pretty good one, but we don't have to get it immediately right now. We can get it a little bit later. Let's grab the Land Doctrine bonus. That will allow us to get the next Doctrine faster. Okay, three more points. Two more points, there we go, pause. And we'll switch to extensive conscription, like that. And now we have one million manpower. Good, good. These are the new divisions that we trained. I guess we should train them as well. So add them here. We can reset. The front line, reassign it. And exercise again. There we go. 25 army experience. Alright, I think we can fill out the entire division now. Yes, we can. So, artillery. Artillery. There we go. That's going to be our division. 
save. Now we just need a crap ton of artillery, basically. As you can see, we need 11,000 artillery. Hopefully we'll get enough, but we'll see. How's our construction? Let's queue up a few more military factories. But look at all these bonuses. 20% from war economy, 20% deterrence, 10% from the advisor, 10% export focus, 10% construction 1, and 10% construction 2. And we shall be building military factories pretty damn fast now. That was kind of the whole point there. We need them. Alright, and right, assign this to artillery. I'm mostly worried about getting enough artillery because we'll need that firepower. So we are actually going to import the resources from the Soviet Union, I suppose. That's fine. And tungsten. Alright, carry on. Steel. There, done. We are still using 10 factories for construction, so that's fine. The main problem is that once you get a lot of military factories, you might not have enough resources. So what ends up happening is that you end up using all of your civilian factories or most of your civilian factories for imports, just to keep up with production, which results in production being very, very slow or in construction being very, very slow. I do kind of want more civilian factories. Oh, also, we should start justifying war goals. Now, I could justify on Czechoslovakia. This requires pretty good timing. It would be safer to take over all the Baltic countries. But at the same time, if we can take over some of Czechoslovakia, we'll have a shorter front line. I'll have to think about it, but this is a good moment to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.